Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be going over Tesla, what it did today, why it sold off, and if you should be concerned. Now, before we get into this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. I hope you do enjoy this video. Let's get right into breaking down Tesla. So today, we can see that Tesla is down $11.41 at the time of this video. Now, we did hit lows of 604. Guys, look where we hit my support level that I've been talking about in previous videos, which is at 604.12. We hit that exactly. And look what happened when we hit that, guys. Buyers came in and pushed price back. So we had a massive amount of sellers coming. They pushed price all the way down to 604, right? But buyers came in strong and then were able to bring price back up. Now, we're not out of the woods yet. We still need to get above this resistance, which is at 628. We need to get above this resistance, whether this be tomorrow or the end of the day today. Now, we only have a little over an hour and a half left in the session today. So I don't know if we'll be able to get that final push up to 628 and past it. So that may have to come tomorrow. But what's happening with Tesla right now is that we're making these lower high situation. So we really need to get above this support. If we fail to get above this support, then we'll just get rejected and we'll test support again. Now you can see my stop loss. I did tag out, but I got back in this morning because it hit my support level and that's where I like buying. I like buying that support. So if you were able to capitalize on that move, congratulations. I've been talking about the support level at 604 for a while now just because it hit here so many times. We've hit here one, two, three, four, now a fifth time. So guys, if you're bullish on Tesla, we need to stay above the support, which we're doing. But more importantly, now we need to start getting above this resistance so we can continue these highs. Now, we do have something important really coming up. We only have two days left until indexers start buying. So they're going to start buying on Friday. They're buying $75 billion worth. That's right, $75 billion worth, no matter what the price is. Tesla could be $650, $660, even $700. They're still buying it. The point is, they're buying it no matter what the price is because they have to have it in their portfolio. Now, that's going to be a lot of buy side activity. It's going to be $75 billion poured into Tesla. In order for Tesla to go down on this transaction, you have to have more than $75 billion being sold of Tesla. So I don't see that happening. That's why I think Friday is going to be huge for Tesla. Friday is going to be an amazing day because we have so much money pouring into Tesla. And is there really going to be enough money to bring it down? Like I said, you have to have more than $75 billion to bring it down. If you don't, then Tesla's going to go up because there's more buyers and sellers. That's the way the stock market moves. If there's more buyers, it goes up. If there's more sellers, it goes down. And today, we had another sell-off day. We've had a perfect entry today. If you were able to add more or get in in your position, congratulations. This was a good dip buy, but we are making these high lows uh, situation, so you need to keep that in mind as well. We really need to get above this resistance. Now, tomorrow, which is Thursday, we could see that, right? A perfect ideal situation is we get above it, we retest it once again, and then on Friday is our big day. So let me get out my little tool so we can uh, show how that will look. So Thursday, we get above it, we retest it, and then here comes Friday, right? We just go off to the moon. We hit all-time highs. So ideally, that's how it's going to look. But like I said, it doesn't always have to plan out that way because we could still continue to sell off. So plan your trades accordingly. But if you're in shares, no need to worry. You can hold those forever. But if you're in options, that's where you need to implement your stop loss, right? So let me go ahead and get our stop loss tool. You need to have this for every trade, not even for Tesla. So if I got in at support today, my stop loss would be right underneath the support. But this is what I do. When we begin to push up, I begin to move my stop loss up. So if we do get that pullback, you lock in profits from where the area you got back here. So it saves your capital and allows you to take your profits when we have those pullbacks, when they do come, because they will come. Now going to the session on Thursday, let us see, let us get above this resistance, right? Let us hold above it, and then Friday, that's going to be our day where we go to the moon, hopefully, because we have so much money pouring into Tesla, and I don't really see a bearish case scenario for Tesla, right? 
I don't know what could happen where there will be more than $75 billion worth of sellers pouring into Tesla. And why would they, right? If I were you know, an institution, I would just ride that wave. I'd pour more money into Tesla as well and take those profits. Because you know the indexers have to pour $75 billion in it. So if I was an institution, I would ride that wave with them. I'd continue that wave up. And then maybe Monday or Tuesday, I'd sell my shares, bring the price down. So really, this could be seen as a free trade if you're a big investment bank because you know these portfolio managers have to have it in their portfolio. That's what I would personally do if I was an, if I was an investment bank. I would ride the wave up because I know $75 billion is coming into Tesla. So we'll just have to see how the rest of the day plays out. Do we even get close to the resistance? If we don't, let's watch for it on Thursday and then watch for a retest. And then, yes, then we can start about talk about having all-time highs on Friday. Like I said, I'll be keeping y'all updated daily on Tesla. I'll post a video tomorrow seeing how this plan worked out and where we're going from there. Anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a comment, like, and subscribe. And I appreciate all the support. See you all in the next video.